Hi right, guys, how y'all doing today? It's Thomas here. Hope you guys having a good day. Um, it's Sunday. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> it's like the weekend before Thanksgiving. And I tell you, the, the year is coming to a close and it's coming up fast. When, when Thanksgiving starts coming in here, next thing you know, it's Christmas, followed by uh, New Year's. So they come bam, bam, bam. So if you haven't started your holiday um, planning yet, it's it's no better time to start than starting now. I'm telling you something. It is, it's it's really out there to get you started. So th today, what we're going to do is we're going to um, just uh, talk about um, the coming holiday and and what it means to uh, a lot of us and and basically uh, Thanksgiving, what it's a, a really about. And uh, it's something that I at least want to put down while I'm thinking about it. And I'll have it right now. I got some free time, but uh, things go kind of quick. And, uh, and I just wanted to, you know, just, just, you know, just to come in and just talk to you guys about that because it's real important that, um, that I at least, you know, say something about this. And, uh, and it's a uh, really a good time to be with people and that kind of thing. So, uh, what I want to talk to you about is the Thanksgiving and, and just really what it's about. Um, so the first thing that I want to do is I was going to talk about, um, um, Thanksgiving itself and, and what it means to me and my family, and, and I'm not sure what your family does. It's probably similar to what I do, but I just wanted just to put this out because it's a good thing. And uh, and one of uh, one thing that I've noticed in the past year, I've gone through some ups and downs and things like that, and um, and I had uh, uh, some really good information from uh, um, uh, from America's Rabbi, and that would be um, Rabbi uh, Daniel Lappin, and I'm a big follower of his. I listen to his podcast and read a couple of his books. Uh, I'm also a big favorite fan of him from Dave Ramsey. Uh, Dave Ramsey introduced him to me, and I'm a big fan of Dave Ramsey also. And this past uh, August, I had a chance to be in. Uh, Rabbi Lappin's presence, and I was able to ask him a question. Um, so um, it was a great thing to, I didn't meet him hand in hand, but I was sitting directly behind him. And um, I really enjoyed that uh, interaction. Um, when I get, I had a chance to ask him a question, and he did ask him a question. I do have that on tape. Uh, but it was really fantastic. And uh, so one of the things that Rabbi Lappin has as a framework for, for our lives, basically it's from um, Jewish wisdom, but it's basically uh, why am I here and how can I make this better for myself and how can I help others and also serve the Lord. So he came down with a basic framework. Um, he has a book called The Holistic You that's out now on Audible, which I recommend that you um, read it and enjoy it because it has these principles in in his book and his principles are the five F's and I'm going to show you what they are uh, so that you can understand them and then we'll go quickly over them and you can also go to um, Rabbi Lappin's um, podcast he talks about them all the time or you can go to Amazon uh, or to his website uh, where well, you need a rabbi.com to uh, look at the framework to help you in your life. And these things have helped me because it, it helps put things in perspective. So, with that being said, um, he talks about the family. Uh, with the family, the family is make sure that the family stays together and everybody is healthy. Uh, also, your friends. If your friends are doing good, you. If you talk to your friends, your friends, they're there for you to network, but also um, they help you to support you to get through all those rough times. And I know what that is. I, I had some rough times, and I had my, my best friend to help me 
uh, he's no longer here. He, he's passed away, but I still have the friends who also helped me. Um, I made friends also. Um, and you know, friendships is definitely important. And then fitness, um, getting in shape. Get off the carbs, man. And your 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 family is depending on you to survive support. So you got to get yourself, make sure that you are in physical, mental, uh, and emotional wellness. And this is what fitness is about. And then faith, having the faith to carry on to to another day, to keep you going to another day, so that you can. Um, um, willing to have to fight that there's another day to keep going that you in one day you just it's going to get better and so we have to do that he calls it being a, a happy warrior and that's what I am I'm happy because the God wants us to be happy and I'm a fighter okay every day we got to fight we got to fight to make to our possessions we got to fight to maintain our weight we got to fight to make sure we keep our family healthy so every day you gotta fight so it's a battle okay so that's what all that is about so that was his framework so um what i'm going to do basically is just talk about <coughs> thanksgiving and in this framework okay so thanksgiving for me and my family uh when i was a kid we always had um food to eat, that kind of thing, and my family would have, you know, people come over, because uh, friends, family, because we, everybody knew my mother, my father, and also we had a family, had a pretty bad, big family, a very big extended family, so people come over to, to our house Thanksgiving, and we would, you know, <coughs> have things out, my dad would, you know, have the turkey, and we used the electric knife, <laughs> excuse me. Sweet the water for the working man. So we have a the big old turkey, and we always had this electric knife. It was back in the seventies. I used to love that electric knife, <laughs> and uh, it was an electric knife. My dad would slice down the turkey breast, and and it, he would only use that knife one day a year, and that's the Thanksgiving. <laughs> so that's uh, that was the the thing that I always remember uh, when I in the early years. Um, and then when I got a little bit older, um, and I would enjoy coming uh, to the family and, you know, we would have other things. And, uh, and so we guys, we got bigger, there were other things that, that we enjoyed. So, um, before I forget, <laughs> um, I asked my chat, chat GPT and I asked them, what are the five things you need to have for a proper Thanksgiving? And this is what. My my chat GP <laughs> chat GPT gave me, uh yeah, um, turkey. We, we all need the, the turkey. Of course, we gotta have a turkey. He's the <laughs> he's the VIP. <laughs> um, but I, what I found out is that in Japan, um, they instead of doing turkey, they do KFC. They do chicken, fried chicken instead of turkey. I guess because but back in the day, back in the eighties, KFC had a had a run on because they said, Well everybody's eating turkey, well, let's do chicken. So the Japanese said, Hey, we like fried chicken. Hey, I'm a black man, I love fried chicken too. So <laughs> they had they have fried chicken for Thanksgiving. So that's that's no that's 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 okay, you know. Uh second thing is stuffing. Stuffing. Okay, everybody loves stuffing. Some people do, some people don't. Okay, um, uh, the thing is, uh, my mom would make stuffing also, but she would make either a sage stuffing or the oyster dressing stuffing. I, my favorite was the oyster stuffing. So, uh, when I was a kid, my mom used to make the the uh, the stuffing um, the pan. I used to tear it up. <laughs> I used to tear it up. I mean, my mom was good at that shit. <laughs> Pardon my French, but it was good. So. Uh, then uh, and I would have my own pan because pan for the family and they were paying for me because I was gonna tear it out. <laughs> I was gonna go through it. And she put the giblets in there and she put the uh, oysters in there and she put the drippings in there. And you talking about something was good? I mean, I like mom. This is it. All I need is a slice of turkey and, and the stuffing and boom, boom, boom. I'm good. 
Um, <laughs> then they had the mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes wasn't a really big thing in my family. We would usually have greens or um, something else, uh, maybe string beans or something like that. But mashed potatoes, we didn't really have too much. I mean, I do like mashed potatoes when I was younger. I can't eat them now, but that was the thing. Cranberry sauce is not a big thing in our family at all. Um, my mom would get the cranberry sauce, and my dad would be the only one eating it because I, I don't need that. <laughs> I got two things here, and I'm good with that, so I don't really need the cranberry sauce. But some people do cranberry sauce. Me, you know, I'm like, okay. Then it says uh, pumpkin pie. Here, black people. Soup to the pie. Boom. That's it. Pumpkin pie. Never seen one. Never tasted one on Thanksgiving. Not in my house. Not in our house. Okay. Uh, would be, would, there would not be a pumpkin pie come across that door <laughs> in my house when I was a kid. And uh, when my wife, she's a great cook. We're going to have soup to the pie also. So we don't do pumpkin. I'm sorry. Uh, for you other people, you can do the pumpkin pie. I mean, I like pumpkin pie too. Um, but that's not here, okay? So that's how it works. So, um, so going, so that's how it, that's how the lineup was in in my in my house. But going back to that, uh, so Thanksgiving, um, you know, we would slice up the turkey. Your dad would use the you know electric slicer, and then uh, we would have the, the stuffing, and uh, we would have the meal, and you know people would come over, but. <clears throat> Thanksgiving was a big day after we ate the meal for us to go around and watch TV. I remember back in the day, uh, all we didn't we had cable TV, but before cable TV, uh, we had a VCR. Okay, um, um, and we would watch uh, movies. Uh, I would go to Blockbuster or Arrow's Video if you if you're out there, <laughs> holla if you have, if you're a ver what's a uh, Earl's video <laughs> member. Uh, I was a lifetime member, but uh, we watch videos. Um, so that was one thing that you know that was the family thing. We would sit down, have a large meal. Uh, then we all kick back. My dad would be you know chilling, drinking some beer. Um, he would do uh, probably uh, a couple beers, and then he, he would have like uh, some some scotch or. Um, maybe something like wild turkey, something like that. But he would, you know, he'd be doing his little thing. My mom be doing his thing. You know, he they on that corner, and he's on this corner. So everybody was cool, just watching TV, watching videos, and then um, we just, you know, we would just watch TV. You know, we just show people come over, we offer them some food, something like that. So it was cool. You know, it was really, really cool. Um, you know, and um. When I got a little bit of age, um, I start like maybe 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you know, uh, my friend Barry, uh, he was living with his mom and dad with him, but his dad passed away, and, uh, he passed away, did he, oh, man, that's a good question, uh, 80, I think it was, 81, 81, that's when he passed away, his dad passed away, probably 80, 81. Um, but he would come over, and, you know. He would also go to his his, his uncle's house, and uh, you know, my door was always open to him because you know he's a, he's my he's my he's my boy. So you know, he would come over, you know, have school. He he loved my mom's cooking too. And I go to his house, and you know, I had the cookie. His mom had a little small turkey, you know, you know. But you know, I you know, it was cool. It was cool. Um, so um, then when he got older. Uh, you know, he was hanging out with his boys, other boys, you know, and he got a girlfriend. And <coughs> when he had a girlfriend, that was it. <laughs> Hoes come before bros. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> the one for the working man. <laughs> so, but anyway, he would still come over sometimes, and then we would just go around and kick it. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about this part. Um, when I got to college, um, my son, he's at college now, and he's coming to be coming home for Thanksgiving. I remember my first year back, you know, for you know, college, you know, I was going to be the big college boy. I had a good time, you know, and it was hanging out with Barry, come out, you know, we boom, 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 you know, drink a little bit. You know. But anyway, um, 
uh, one thing that that I should say um, um, on a somber note, but I'm going to just cover this. Um, <clears throat> I think my junior year, one of my friends, um, she went to, I think she went to City, um, and uh, she was one of the girls I worked with in the in the dish room uh, when I was working at College Park. And uh, we were talking before, like the weekend before uh, Thanksgiving. I could still see her face in my mind, and she would, you know, we were good friends, and I knew where she lived at, you know. So uh, I asked her, you know, um, you know, what she's going to do for Thanksgiving. She said, I'm going to go out and hang out with my mom and dad, and then have Thanksgiving. I said, okay, well, I wish you, you know, have a good time, you know. So then <clears throat> uh, that was kind of like uh, the weekend before, like this weekend. And we worked in the dish room uh, Sunday mornings, you know. So I had a chance to, you know, to hang out with her at work, you know. Not knowing that that was going to be the last time I was going to see her. You know, it's like, damn. So so we were just, you know, just hanging out. So um, I go to things. It was, it was, I believe it was 1985, I think it was, 85. So <clears throat> going back to school. Um, Sunday night, my son, my, my son, my dad, <laughs> this thing, he said, he said, do you know this girl named, watch my, yeah, and I said, yeah, hmm, yeah, she said she was, I said, I think I do, because she, she was, uh, she went to College Park with me, I, she's a good friend of mine, he said, yeah, I'm sorry to tell you, but she got killed, I said, what, I said, yeah, she, she went over her boyfriend's house, and something went down, and her boyfriend stabbed her. I said, what? I said, oh, damn. So, um, <clears throat> that was the last time, I, you know, like the week before I guess last time I saw and I heard that, you know, and I was, well, I was kind of upset, you know, because she was a good friend, you know, and, and I didn't know that she, you know, she had a boyfriend and I, you know, I yeah. wasn't trying to date her, wasn't trying to do anything like that. You know, I was trying to do my, do my business, you know, just <clears throat> making friends. <clears throat> and, and her boyfriend murdered her. I was like, damn. Um, <clears throat> and so I was, I, you know, I made an announcement at the, at our community meeting that, uh, you know, she was in the same community that I lived in. And I, and I was like, you know, uh, it was a moment of silence for my friend, you know, because I work with her and she's one of our one of our students, you know. And so, and, you know, she's you know, she's deceased, you know. And I was like, wow, you know. You know, you're 19, 20 years old, and this is a friend of yours, and, you know, you saw her one week next to she, she's done. You know, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? So, then um, then the other thing I want to say about this is that I, uh, when I became a college boy, and I decided I'm going to be big and bad, make some money over the weekend, you know, there was an opportunity when I was working, 86, probably 86, 87, I think, where you could work, um, on campus and over the holidays and some people they close the campus down but if you work for security you can also work and they give you like a, a little extra money if you stay on campus and then you get to um just watch the buildings and things like that you know ain't nobody there so just say so, you know if you want to make a little extra money you know and, you know do this and watch the kids so, uh, watch the buildings you know so i said you know hey what the hell you know it's an extra Fifty dollars you know, at the times we get paid like five dollars an hour, so it was like you know, forty fifty dollars, you know. But so I would, I did so I would stay over at for Thanksgiving and then I think one night different New Year's, and um, and both my parents were living and I you know it was and I thought I was making a sound decision you know not being around. Uh, because, um, you know, I need the money. I didn't really need the money, but I need the money anyway. So, you know, I instead of, I could have been home with my family and being with my family and, you know, doing the five Fs, but instead I, I got, it was the money thing. But I really miss, wish that I had not done that because uh, not looking forward enough that, um those holidays are, are things that you share with your family and that you want to be with your family. And if you have the opportunity to be with your family, then it's the best thing. And especially when you're young, when you have, and I had my, my, my mother and my father were still living. And, um, I, and I wished, and I really, really wished that I had not done that 
because it's one of the best times that I could be with my family and I could have shared with my family. You know, they love me and that kind of thing. And I wish that I, you know, would have had two more years or two more Christmases or two more Thanksgivings uh, with my mother and father, you know, to enjoy the holiday with them. But um, that wasn't to be. And um, looking back at that, I, you know, I do have some regret for that. So, you know, uh, I, I do do say that that's a big important thing to be around with your family. And so um, it was one of my regrets about about doing that. But um, but the day itself, you know, is fantastic. So, you know, it's, it's all about being with your family. Um, this year will be the first time in probably like about four, about two, two years, about two years where I have the whole holiday off um, because of other issues I'm not going to go into, but uh, which rather be, but like I would, but I would rather be working, but I'm not able to. But anyway, um, but this will be the first time in two years that I'll be able to enjoy the whole Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, Thanksgiving is my holiday because um, I really enjoy it. I enjoy eating and I enjoy the camaraderie and things like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to have Thursday off, I'm going to have Friday off, and then I'm going to have Saturday off, and I'm have Sunday off, and then I'm going to have Monday off, and I'm going to have Tuesday off. <laughs> so <laughs> you get my drift. <laughs> but um, but the, you know, I, usually I would work, I would have to work that Thursday. Uh, the, the Friday after Thanksgiving uh, to cover for people um, when I was working at the hospital. Um, and then um, that now I have the Thanksgiving, I will have Christmas off. Um, so, but that's not happening. But anyway, I don't have the time off, so I'm going to really enjoy myself with uh, my family and enjoy, you know, having my son home and that kind of thing. So I'm really going to enjoy that. Um, it's going to be a great, great day. So, um, and, you know, it's, um, really important that you enjoy your Thanksgiving. So, um, and it's a lot of times when Thanksgiving starts, people have a lot of things going on, but, you know, just try to make the best of it. Don't, you know, don't try and cause no static, man. Nobody wants to, life is already difficult enough. You know, you gotta go through no BS, but. If you feel yourself, you know, getting a little tense of what people are talking about you, you know, just get them up and leave, you know. Nobody want to go up in, you know, and you got attitudes. If you got an attitude, don't even don't even show up. You know, just call them and say, look, man, I've got some things going on or something like that, or this person called me over, but, you know, don't want to go through that. You know? So, um, going back to uh, the five F's, I'm just going to look go back through this again. So family, so Thanksgiving, family, being with your family. Um, friends, your friends come over, you call them up, say happy Thanksgiving, I get a text from people, you know, just being around them. Um, and, you know, just, um, just, just being around, like, and having friendships again, faith, um, you know, fitness, you know, make sure you get some walking before or after. Uh, so you can properly digest your food. And plus, the fitness is just generally you got to keep moving to keep everything moving, um, and having faith. Say a prayer for the people um, who are your family, family members, friends. Um, having the faith that God's going to keep you and keep your family healthy, and that you're able to be there back next year. Say a prayer for the people who. Who are not home, but people who are in other places, uh, like hospitals, that they could uh, get the care they need and that they get back to the home as quick as possible. Uh, being away from Halloween, for Thanksgiving, uh, for any major holiday, it's really bad. Um, so, you know, just look out for those people. <coughs> so, anyway, so I'm going <coughs> to bring this podcast to a landing here. With warrior. Uh, 
But Thanksgiving is one of my favorite favorite holidays. And, um, I just hope you guys have a safe Thanksgiving. Um, um, don't eat too much. But also be careful. Try to save some money. Start your planning today. Um, get your things together. Um, make sure you have a checklist. <laughs> So you don't forget anything, and uh, you know, holidays are coming. So uh, I like listening to Christmas music. So you know, get your Christmas Christmas music started. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna slide this weekend. <laughs> I love the Christmas music, uh, and also my Charlie Brown Christmas, my Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. So I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a holler for that too. So anyway, all right, folks, <clears throat> you guys have a great day. Um, you guys be blessed. Um, thank you. I know some people will be watching this. You watch the whole thing. Thank you. I uh, hope you have a good day. All right. All right. I'll check you guys later. Peace out.